Hi guys, this is lesson number 10 from our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, I am going to teach you how to apply multicolor effect on the text and on the background. This way you can enhance and improve the appearance of your text in just few easy steps. As you can see here, I have a multicolor text and background and uh, this type of effect we can achieve by using shape editing tool intersect. Let's get started. Let's move these things to the side. Okay, here we can type text first, cap locks on, yn tutor. You can type anything. For this type of effect, we need to apply some thick font. We can go to the pick tool and uh, here we have font style. I will prefer Arial black, but if you have any other thick font, you can apply in your text. So here we have, as you can see, this is a default text, but Coral Draw allow default text with the object uh, you can intersect. To make it easy, we can apply outline and uh, we can remove color from inside of this text. Here we have uh, outline, right click on the black to apply outline and left click on the X to remove color from inside. So here we have text. Now we can draw a shape. Here we have a rectangle tool and we can create a simple rectangle shape this way. Okay, so once you will select the text and this shape together, you will be able to intersect them. Select both of them. Okay, and here we have intersect command from shape editing tool. We can apply. You can see that intersected part is there. Now this is a individual part and if I want, I can fill color in it. Let's bring the palette out so it will be easy for us to choose the color we can see all color all right so here i am going to apply some light color okay and this text is individual this is a separate text and if i want i can add color and here we have a rectangular shape and if i want i can apply opposite color to that but since it is on the top of the intersected part so we can send it back so here we have a object order send to back and also you can press control and key from the keyboard you can see that there is a shortcut to back of the page control and and control home is to front of the page so i am going to use to back of the page and you can see that it's appear this way now we can copy this uh, rectangular shape by pressing plus key from the keyboard bring it up carefully select from this uh, x from the middle press control key and just adjust it so here we have now we can apply the light color and now you can see that this how uh, we apply this nice effect on this text since the outline is there we can remove outline select everything and right click here so there you go it's done here we have another effect you can see on the text we have strips on the purple text so we don't need to type text again since we have here text we can just uh, copy by pressing plus key from your numeric keyboard from the right side of your keyboard press control key and bring it down here you can maybe stretch it a bit because we are going to apply strips so here we have let's change the color okay once again we need to create one rectangular shape we can even copy from here press plus key and bring it down press control key to maintain the vertical alignment we can reduce the size this way we can make a strip now this strip it is under the text we can bring it to the front control home you can press or you can go to the object order and here we have to front of the page so now it's in the front we can make multiple copies of this small strip we will adjust little bit press plus key from the keyboard we have another copy press control key to align vertically and we have two copy now we can select both of them we can make more precise alignment but for now our main objective is to apply this effect so we will just copy and move one more maybe okay so this is how we have now you can see that here we have uh, five rectangular shapes strips and uh, before you intersect with the text 
you need to group them or you need to combine them okay if you will group or combine coral draw will consider them one object so with a single click you will be able to intersect all of them so let's do it press shift key and carefully select the rest by clicking now only the strips are selected i can combine or i can go and click on object and group them group object okay so now uh, they are one object select the strips and click on the text carefully by pressing shift key while you are pressing shift key click on the text now text and strip selected simply click on intersect so once you will click on intersect you will be able to intersect the our lapping part click outside and move these elements now the intersected part is there and to select that we can select the text first and maybe we can remove color from the text and you can see that part is inside now you can access easily you can select it so once it is selected i can apply some lighter color okay and now select the text and uh, you can choose darker color so this how we get this nice effect on the text we can delete this okay so once again we can copy the text and we can apply this effect you can see that here we have a curve arc effect select this text press plus key okay so here we have now for this type of effect we need to create a shape we need to edit it so click on rectangle and we can draw a rectangular shape select with the pick tool and uh, now we can convert to curve this object click on object convert to curve using shape tool we can modify select here click in the middle only one click and segment curve segment convert to curve in our previous lesson we learn similar thing okay so here we have another point convert to curve and bring this up here okay so it's up to you if you want to reduce from the side or maybe if you want to expand from the middle it's all up to you how you want to do that things okay so maybe this is fine object is there we can go to the pick tool and select both of them and intersect simply click on intersect so you will get the intersected part now delete this object and intersected part is there we can select carefully this way fill different color maybe i can apply some light color okay so this is the color in our intersected part and if i want text i can select the text and we can give some dark color so this how we get this nice effect on the text and you can even group both of them you can select them object group and group object so you can move together okay so this how we apply this nice effect here we have uh, angular effect text okay you can see that similar to this but there is an angle we can skew the elements so we will get the text first copy text from here press plus key all right once again we will create rectangular shape okay press plus select both of them press plus and press control key to align vertically select four of them and bring them down a little bit okay so here we have uh, four shapes you can group or you can combine here click on combine all of them together now one object coral rise considering one object and you can click in the middle and here we have option skew you can see that in the middle we have some arrow skew this way all right this is enough now this object is selected and we need to select the text press shift key and select the text and get intersected part while it is selected even you can fill the color 
let's fill color now you can see that that part is already uh, with the light color and we can delete this and here we have text we can select it and we can apply some dark color so you can see that here we have this nice effect on the text it's a easy effect and it's very useful when you are going to create a brochure or maybe you are going to make large scale banner on company name or on the title you can apply this type of effect also if you have specific name or event you can apply this type of nice effect this how it's easy you can open coral dry and practice this guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you